<laughs> to watch it. But again, we did record it and I definitely plan on, on watching it and I, and I support them 100%. You're going to need to get like a whole bunch of your Seagrams and your mimosas for it. Like, I think. <laughs> well, enjoy it. Look, I'm going to be like you guys. I'm going to get my life. I'm going to sit right on my couch and kick back and be like, oh my God, did you see that? Can you believe this happened? So it, it's going to be kind of cool to watch kind of like as a spectator and just be like, oh, wow. You know, you but, can just um, say all of you enjoy that drama and good luck to you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm good over here. I'm trying to, I'm still on the drama diet right now. <laughs> what do you think about like Marlo getting her peach? I mean, she finally has a peach. Like, what, what do you think of that? Oh, I think it's time. You know, Marlo has been working with us for so long. You know, I feel like her fans definitely deserve to see her story. You know, they have, a, you know, there's always a lot of questions about Marlo. Um, you know, this thing's about Marlo, I don't even know. And I, and I know Marlo, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's nice. I feel like, you know, as a housewife consistently for so many years, I had to tell my story, <laughs> talk about all my tea, my ups, downs, everybody knows money broke, you know, back on top, marriage, divorce. It's like, uh, let's get into Marlo's tea. Let's, let's find out the tea. We want some of this good Marlo tea. She's over here, but she didn't really have to spill the tea like we did, you know, as housewives. So now she's a housewife. She has a well-deserved peach and we want to know the tea. Well, everyone would like to know the tea that is on the cast with her. They're already saying, you know, where do you get your money? We don't understand your finances. They yeah, are they've been in. For years. <laughs> well, they've they been would... asking, that's the, that is the number one question. They've been asking that for years. And I'm sure, um, you know, you guys have several episodes for her to explain all of it to you guys. So, and I'm sure she will. Well, rumor is, you know, just in from what we've seen so far and like, you know, this season on where they show all that, like rumor is like Marlo is the villain. She is taking no prisoners. She is taking this speech <laughs> very seriously. She is coming for everyone. Listen, when you finally get that peach, you know, she's like, I'm going to make sure I don't lose this peach anytime soon. So, you know, Marlo has learned a lot from the sidelines, honey. She understands the assignment and, uh, you know, you know, good for her. Do you? I think that's it, right? Like she's like sat on the sidelines and studied. And I think that she doesn't want to lose this peach ever. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't think she wants to lose that peach anytime soon. And in a way, if you think about it, then this is a brilliant decision by Bravo and production to give her a peach because she's going to hold on to that for dear life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then because it took so long, you know, people are really expecting her to step up. I, she's probably the one they expect the most from just because they really, you know, this is her moment. So it's like, hey, so but you got the peach. What are you going to do with it? Let's go. You know, what about, you know, we know this season. I mean, Candy was just here. I mean, I'm not spilling anything out of school. I mean, you know, Candy was a very big proponent for Marlo getting a peach. And like Marlo does stuff happens between Marlo and Candy this season, which is, there's a lot that happens. Like, are I you sure? I'm like, oh Lord, <laughs> I'm definitely going to watch. You know, I talked to, you know, pretty much all of the ladies at this point. And I just had dinner with Candy not that long ago. She always calls me when she's out here in California. And she was definitely like, girl, me and Marlo went at it. And I can't even believe it. I was like the main one riding for her. And then she came for me, you know, I was like, oh my goodness. So I am very interested to see how that all plays out. And, you know, the thing as a former housewife, I just hope that um, whatever it is that happened on camera, that they'll be able to eventually just move past it. And it's not easy because, you know, we have feelings and, you know, when your feelings are hurt, your feelings are hurt. And, um, you know, especially if you feel like you genuinely, you know, supported that person or had love for them. So sometimes it takes a little minute to let it go. So, I mean, it's easy for me to say, oh, yeah, well, they move past it. But like, I have definitely been guilty of holding on. So, so <laughs> when I'm mad, I'm like, leave me alone and let me be mad. It's two weeks, hard. Two months, two years, whatever it is, I'll call you when I'm not mad anymore. <laughs> You're like, just give me a minute. Like, well, can I just be mad? Like, you can't like hurt me, stab me in my heart and be like, hey, do you want to go have uh, margaritas now? No, bitch, I don't. <laughs> I want to be mad at you. You hurt me. 
I love you. And you hurt my feelings. So now you have to be on a timeout. <laughs> I hope they, I mean, Candy said here, which I mean, she said like, you know, we're good now, but she's like, but now I have to watch the whole season. And that's the thing. That's the problem. It's like you, it happens. You get to a decent place most of the time uh, because there's so much time in between, you know, the show actually coming out. You know what I'm saying? And you, it's not like you never have to see each other. You still have to see these people. It's not like in real life where you literally could just get mad at somebody at work and literally never have to see them again if you don't want to or not hang out with them or, you know, film with them and stuff. So yeah, watching it is the tough part because then it's side conversations with the other ladies and then you're like oh my god and then you have you know social media like oh my god she treats you so bad how could you let me her friend you know I would do this if it was me I wouldn't talk to that bitch anymore or whatever whatever so you have all of that and then that really gets you in your feelings because you're like well maybe it wasn't that bad I know you know we already kind of made up whatever and then you're just like oh my god I'm mad all over again now <laughs> <laughs> exactly what about what do you think about the return of Sheree I mean you've worked with her before oh yes oh yes um I've always thought Sheree was great for the show you know she brings only what Sheree brings you know what I mean you know Sheree is that combination of nice and, and shady at the same time you never know where you're gonna get like in person you're like oh yeah yeah she's so sweet so nice and then you see in the interviews you're like wait what what, what did you just say so Sheree is an OG, you know, the OGs understand the assignment more than anyone because they were a part of the beginning of, of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm super excited, you know, to see like, you know, you know, her whole personal life plays out. I actually had dinner with Sheree when she was out here as well. So we got a chance to catch up and, um, you know, super excited to see uh, She by Sheree. Like I'm still waiting on my box, Sheree. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? I already told you, I got you. So um, just to see her whole thing come full circle. And that's one of the things I really love about Bravo and NBC is that you can be a housewife and then you can be a friend and then you can be nothing, you can be gone. Then you come back as a housewife, come back as a friend. You know, I really love that, you know, depending on what you have going on in your life at different times that, you know, these girls can, you know, leave, come back, you know, um, it's, it's, it's kind of cool because, you know, one year you may kind of not really be in a headspace to really shoot or just not really have much going on. And then the next year you could have all this stuff going on and the fans are still, you know, so true to all of us at the end of the day that it's kind of cool. You can just kind of go in and out. So, you know, I always say, you know, I get asked a lot, like, would you ever go back? Would you ever go back? I never say never just because I don't know if the show's still going on in a couple of years. I may want to go and stick my peaky toe back into fire again. But for now, you know, I'm really enjoying, you know, being able to still be on television and showing you guys all these other things that, uh, these other layers, these other uh, layers of Cynthia Bailey feel that you guys didn't or don't always get to see on Housewives. People, and then the reruns too. Like I'm still not on the show, but the show seemed like they rerun forever. So <laughs> even forever. though I'm not still on it, so. <laughs> And listen, you don't even have to watch it. You're having dinner with Candy, dinner with Sheree. Like you, you, you know more than most of us probably at this point. Absolutely. I, I talk to them all anyway. So it's, 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 it's pretty cool. You're like, what happens? What about, you know, I know you were just on, you were just on like Fox with like Claudia Jordan and Vivica Fox. Yeah. You know, what about like, you know, we've had a couple of one to two season wonders like Claudia and Eva Marcel Kim mm -hmm. Fields and Shamari. Those are really the four during your time. Who do you think is like out of those four underrated? Like Claudia, Kim, Shamari, and Eva, as far as like, you know, you only had one or two seasons. Right. And no, there's a lot more there, guys. Right. Well, I have to say, you know, for all of those ladies who I love all of those ladies, one season is not enough time to really, you know, you just get your feet wet the first season. It's that second season that you come back and you're like, okay, you know what? I get it. I'm ready to play ball because even my own first season, I was like, wait, what's going on? You know, like we were like getting married, we were going broke. And I was like, you know, I had friend contract, you know, I was like besties with Nene and they were calling me single black female. And I was like, wait, I look crazy. Like I looked a hot ass mess first season. Like forget being ass back. I watched it. I was like, do I want to come back? Like I look like 
a crazy person on the show. So, but what happens is you watch yourself and you're like, you know what? Okay, this is how you play the game. Okay, okay, I get it. Cause you, you don't know how to do it until you actually do it. And you can sit back and watch it and be like, oh, if I was on there as a housewife, I would do this. I would be friends with this one, whatever. Well, the very person that you think you're gonna be friends with 